Alright, I had a conversation. Alright, I heard. See, see, it's a whole video about him. He's already talking. I have to dive into just a little tad into the world of Lou. The, the inspiration for imaginary Lou. The muse. The man, the myth. Lou. I met Lou in jail, man. He was trying to show me up on a song I was singing for the church. I, no reason for this man to jump up. The church man was already out the door. He's gonna jump up. Ah, I got one of spirit is leading. The spirit is leading him. He got up and sang some Luther Vandross, some shit that had nothing to do with church. Uh, Baby, let me get on you. Yeah. Something like that. He can pass, pass it over juking and shit. So man, took my took my gospel song out the window, man. Everybody's like, oh yeah, 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 fuck Whitey. Yeah. And then I seen him at the bar, he did the same thing. I was a karaoke night, fifty dollars. I need to have my son in the car. Yeah, I had my son in the car, but we didn't have no food. We had to give him something to eat. Right, there's three people in this contest. I knew it was gonna be a slow night. I knew I had him beat. One one dude didn't even have it. He had one trick out of me thing. I had him beat. I sing my song. Here it come. It's, it's nine o'clock. I said, Yes, give me my money. They come up there to the speaker, they announce the winner, and the winner is. All of a sudden, Lou. Here comes Lou. Walks through the front door wearing some fucking Armani or some shit like fucking just looking like he come out of a, a Rick James video. <laughs> Everything all perm and shit pressed. He fucking he walks up, he said, Is it too late? They said, Not for you, Lou. Then I heard somebody in the back and I said, He won two weeks ago. They was like, Lou's like, oh, I can't, I can't do it if I win. If I won two weeks ago. They're like, oh, no, nonsense, Mr. Hunter. Come sing. <laughs> he got up there and saying, I'm going to I think it was Marvin Gaye or something like that. Whatever the fuck it was, it blew me out the fuck. I knew I didn't have a chance, man. I didn't have a chance. I just looked back here and I started getting crackers and shit off the bar for my son. They got the, you know how they got the crackers and shit up there? I started getting, I was like, I'll make sure they ain't eat, man. I got to get him something. I didn't want to, because I, I, I knew better than ask Lou for some of his $50 he just won. $50. We'll get to that later on, too. That's pretty ironic. $50. We'll get to that. <laughs> anyway, of course, Mr. 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 Gay wins the contest. <laughs> Fucking he, in his Armani suit. $50. He took the shit. I knew he got the shit from Belk. He took it back the next day. I know he did. He had to, still had the tags and shit on. He did like he did all that purposely. Come take that money so I wouldn't get it. <laughs> Didn't want to say, had the nerve to stop me at the bar and say, hey, hey. You know, you got your son out there in the car. <laughs> that shit ain't no good. We is, we got we to gotta rise above that shit. You can't have your son in the bar. I said, Lou, you just came in with two fat girls. Aren't you married? He's like, oh, oh, well, uh, no, that, that's my cousin. No, that's your cousin, man. Might be three of your cousins. <sighs> anyway, without further ado, the real Lou. That's the real Lou right there. Well, yeah. Yeah, he ain't got none of my, he got my hat on, but that's about it. He just got all my clothes on. If Lou ever says, come here, let me holler at you. Oh, I got a deal for you. <laughs> Grab your motherfucking wallet. Approach with caution. Because he's got something. He's got a deal for you, all right? He's going to get you out of something. He's going to give you, let me, let me inspect this shit. He just, I just traded him a pair of brand new. Hey, <laughs> key, these motherfuckers, I guarantee you they don't work. And they got, <sighs> Anyway, he just got me out of a brand new set. <laughs> Let's see here. All right, man. Anyway, he ever says that? That's, that's one thing about Lou. The second thing, don't ever loan Lou money. If you loan Lou money, you're not subject to get it back for at least three to four weeks. And that's if then, if then that. He'll come by you with at least 17 PayPal cards. Brand new. He ain't got his name on it. It's a customer. Prepaid customer. Hey, uh, I was going to send you. Uh, I got to see the. Yeah, I mean, uh, you got a card, I'll, I'll send it to you, uh, PayPal. I was like, okay, okay, I ain't got a card, but, uh, yeah, just send it to me on PayPal. All right, what's your information? Did we be typing the shit in his phone? <laughs> All right, it's, it's sent, it's sent. <laughs> Motherfucker, it's never sent. <laughs> then two nights later, he's not come over. Oh, yeah, man, see what it was? I used the wrong card. Uh, you got, you got, uh, Vesicamo? I was like, what the fuck is that? He's like, Vesicamo. So, <laughs> it's like PayPal, you use it. I was like, no, man, I downloaded it, I downloaded Vesicamo. You shit don't I put all my information there expecting expecting money from Lou. She never came. Then then he said then he said I sent it. He said, wait, 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 wait. They, they kicked me off the shit. They won't even I can't even get all my shit. But man, get on your you can't get on your account. How you gonna create an account and you can't they won't let you on your shit. They give you security questions, all kind of shit. No, they just took my shit. She changed it. She changed he's talking about he must be talking about his ex. That's not Lose it. Hey, oh, God. Let me tell you something. I gave Lou 
My, I worked all day at Walmart. It was one of them days where I had to get to Walmart, and I don't know why. I had no fucking clue why, but when I got there, I figured it out. I had a big-ass fucking gift card, big-ass gift card, and I said, man, Lou, Lou said, I, I, I got to go. I'll, I'll be back in a minute. I was like, well, here, here's this card. Get me some chicken. That's all I said was give me some chicken. I was starving to death. There wasn't no food in here at all. <laughs> Thirteen hours later, Lou comes bouncing in with a motherfucking Cornish game duck, a whole duck. It was a whole little like, like swing. They put a chicken in a microwave and it, like, mm, it shrunk up. And it, half of that bitch was eating. I was like, damn, Lou, you can't even. We'll see what happened. I went to I went to see uh, my ex, and uh, they was hungry. They was hungry. I was hungry, Lou. I didn't want no duck. I want some food. He got he, got, he spent all the fucking money, all grocery money on it. Man, God damn. And she beats him. That's another story, man. But. That, Get back to Luke. Luke keeps him a fucking snow bunny. He want the uh, whole time I'm, I was with him. Never mind. We gonna go there. Something better. Anyway, old Lou. Imaginary Lou was created because on the precept that Lou, every time he leaves, if he says, I'll be back in a minute. If he, he might leave, come back in a minute. He might be back, actually. But if he ever says, I'll be back in a minute. With a fist bump. If you ever fist bump this dude, you're not allowed to see him for three days. Fist bump or loan him money. You ain't gonna see him for three or four days. So what? I mean, he, he's always gonna come with something like, come in. He's got a mean ass fucking poker. The man wins poker tournaments for a living. Don't ever, ever listen to his poker. Watch his poker face. He's like, yeah, come in for a minute. Oh. <laughs> I ain't got. You think I could get? Yeah, if he does this shit, I, he starts doing that shit. You're in trouble. You're in trouble. Like I said, grab your fucking wallet. <laughs> Grab everything of value around you, cause he ain't gonna take it. Lou ain't gonna do that. He's just gonna he, when he's doing it. Ah, it's like a fucking force of Star Wars. This shit'll come to him. Ah, he's like put those a charm on it. By the time he talks you out of your own shit, you could have a you could have a you could need a brand new heart. God forbid, you could need a brand new heart. And somebody could deliver you a heart. You got it on your bed. About, about to put that bitch in. Lou could knock on the door. He come over there. Lou's like, um, how about you up? Uh, Oh, you think I could get that? <laughs> no one, Lou, don't need a fucking heart. You need a heart. You about to die. You got your shit cut open. About to, about to change the shit out. I mean, you just about to change the shit out. You got the, you got gloves on everything. Oh, Lou needs it. So you fuck around and give your heart to Lou. Give the new, give the new heart to Lou. You fuck. You can't, it ain't like you can't get an old one. He'd be like, no, I want that one. He's like, he's fucking picky. He wants the new heart. What's he gonna do with it? He don't need the new heart. He takes it anyway. You die. You be like, oh shit. You die. But Lou's got the heart. That's how he can talk you out of anything. Just beware.